Oh yes, I finally got paid $3,000, I'ma put it in the bank, in the bank, put it in the bank. Okay, okay, um, this shit is getting, this is getting get ridiculous. Like, Y'all don't do no special rewards, no discounts, no buy one, get one free. Like if I pay on time, like hold me down next month. Like come the fuck on, it's, it's getting tiring. I don't have time to do anything. I don't, I want to shower, eat my dinner and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like I don't have energy to work out. Like that's out the window, like... I'm so upset. Oh my god. Nothing to do with my job at all, but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. It's getting to the point that if you're not a trust fund baby, if you don't come from generational wealth, you can't afford to live in New York. Dollar right now. Also say thank you to Kevin for these nails. He paid for these. So that's why I'm not having a freak out, but man, I feel lied to lied to by the culture. Uh but I'm gonna take full responsibility there, man. I fell for it. I know I'm probably just being so dramatic and annoying, but this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college and I'm in person and I'm commuting in the city and it takes me fucking forever to get there. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford living in the city right now. So that's off the table, like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work and it it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here, like I get on the train at 730 and I don't get home till like 615 earliest. And then like, I don't have time to do anything. I don't, I want to shower eat my dinner and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like, I don't have energy to work out. Like, that's out the window. Like, I'm so upset. Oh my God. Nothing to do with my job at all, but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. Nine to five is still nine to five like it always have been since people's been working. <laughs> like, what is she talking about? She want to work the night shift or something? Yes, yeah, eight hours. Go work another shift. It is what it is. It's like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. Being in the office nine to five, like if it was remote, you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine. But like, I'm not home. It takes me long to get home. And like, like people that drive to the office, like it doesn't, you don't get off at five. And I know it could be worse. I know I could be working longer, but like, I literally get off. It's pitch black. Like I don't have energy. How do you have friends? Like, how do you have time to like meet like a guy i don't know like how do you have time for like dating like i don't have time for anything and i'm like so stressed out and i'm also getting my period so that's why i'm all emotional but like am i so dramatic it's fine the way they are complaining online a lot of these women are not gonna mentally make it through they will crack because things are only gonna get worse but for these ladies welcome to equality and these are the same women who complain that they don't make enough money but yet again they can afford two thousand dollars taylor swift concert tickets you, you know you really can't make this stuff up. i would say i'm about to have a freak out but i just can't really be bothered right now also say thank you to kevin for these nails he paid for these so that's why i'm not having a freak out but i toured an apartment today the apartment apartment hunting Apartment hunting is literally my last straw. I hate it. I want to jump off a very tall something because of this. I'm looking in Hoboken because I can't afford the stupid New York City aesthetic. Okay. The average rent for a Manhattan apartment is now $5,588. It's getting to the point that if you're not a trust fund baby, if you don't come from generational wealth, you can't afford to live in New York. What is that going to mean for creatives? And more importantly, what is that going to mean for our world? People romanticize New York a lot, and for good reason, because if you think about it, the commoners of New York's past turned into the icons of present day. What happens when the average rent is so high that the people with actual dreams and talent can no longer afford to live here, and the only people eligible for these apartments and spaces are trust fund kids and people with generational wealth? For real, what are you saving your money for? Like, you could die tomorrow and then all your money will just be sitting in your bank account and who's gonna get it? Not you, cause you're dead. You're not getting that money back. So, you might as well just spend it all now. That's what I'm doing. So, a lot of these women are not gonna be able to stand up under the mental financial stress they will face in the future if they don't find a life partner to help them out financially. Okay, check this post out here right here. It says, don't hate, donate single mom of five daycare 250 car note 300 gym membership 50 dollars. cat food and litter 200 and 280 dollars um starbucks 
a hundred dollars rent twenty four hundred dollars going out five hundred and going out got a wild face on it like i guess she say she need her going out time nail appointment a hundred and eighty dollars hair appointment 240 food 80 dollars hey, i would think you would spend more than that on food is this weekly so just on nails and hair you're spending almost 500 dollars. and really if they just cut out starbucks get the gym out of there cut out going out get rid of the hair and the nails that's that's roughly a little bit over a thousand dollars right there these ladies just need to grow up it's like they still want to live certain lifestyles but they got responsibilities like kids which are way more important Women direct 83% of all consumption in the United States, totaling over $6 trillion a year. Oh, yes, I finally got paid $3,000. I'm going to put it in a bank, in a bank, put it in a bank. Okay, okay, okay. But you really only got $2,531. It's the first, so you got to pay the rent. First and foremost, y'all jamming. <laughs> when that shit drop, okay? <laughs> but on the road, though, if you want to keep seeing what the going on around here i suggest you break me off for the light bill sorry what the f i just paid y'all last month like so who gonna tell her that's how it works no this shit is getting this is getting get ridiculous and y'all don't do no special rewards no discounts no buy one get one free like if i pay on time like hold me down next month like come Ooh, it's, it's getting tiring. The women are the highest consumer spenders. Of course, we all knew that. But if they cut back on some of their extra expenses that they have, I think they can survive, you know, just like any man would. Ooh, it's, it's getting tiring. I can see you guys are busy, and I really hate to be that guy. But, Bookie, there's no food. <laughs> Fridge empty. Cabin is falling apart. I, I don't really have to eat. Like, I, I can fast. Like, and the paying every month thing is getting questionable for everybody. Like, you don't think it's a little excessive for me to pay every 30 days? Like, it's, it's giving trust issues. Like, I paid y'all last month. I'm good for it. I fell for the boss bitch. The, like, I, I could do everything by myself. The hyper-independent bullshit. And I'm 31 now. And I still don't have kids. I still don't have a family. I was focused on... trying to get after the bag and all this yo what i'm in a place now in my life where i'm reevaluating everything my values my perspectives what i really want in the future and what i really want is a family is a family i feel like social media or just everything around us society in general wants to push that women the woman is the future no the family is the future the part that really be messing these women up is the fact that they know they got to do this alone i do think a lot of these women get more mentally strained because they do know they have an urgent need to get out there you know find a man or a partner to help carry this financial burden. A lot of them get down in the dumps because they know no man is coming to help them. Like a lot of these women are not gonna be saved. I just left Starbucks and they're about to close. And I saw this guy unload the truck for I'm assuming supplies that probably Starbucks needs. And it's just him and unloading a bunch of stuff off of the truck. Listen, if you're a man and you're out there working hard, hustling, I love you, okay? Because we need you men. We need you. So awesome. Men are amazing. I support the men. Love you guys. But that's all I got in this video. Make sure you guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the financial strain that a lot of women are going to be placed up under. And let me know what you guys think about the first young lady that was doing all that crying and buffing. And also let me know what age was you guys at when you first, when you got your first job and you got out there in the work before us and realized you got to make your own money. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video. Thanks for watching to the end. I will see you in the next one.